Hey guys, this is Kim with KimberlyAnnHumanis.com and today we're going to learn about scheduling your social media posts. Now this is something that's going to save you a ton of time and I know you're extremely busy, you got a business to run, so why not schedule your posts ahead of time so you don't have to worry about updating Facebook, updating Twitter, so on and so forth. Anyway, so basically we are going to talk about this first tool, it's called Buffer. Um, and in the second video, we're going to talk about Hootsuite. So we're going to start from the most simple tool on to kind of the big boy tool, all right? So Buffer here, um, you can kind of see this is the inside of my dashboard. And on the left-hand um, pane right here, you can see this is Facebook and this is Twitter. And those are the only two platforms that I currently have connected because I do not pay for Buffer which I probably should, but I don't right now because I'm just using their free version. And that's great because, you know, if you are a solopreneur, you're just starting out your business and you're cash strapped, this is something that you can use for free. Now there are some limitations and um, you can't access all of their cool features, but this is actually more than enough for me personally. So inside you can just basically see, okay, so right here is the dashboard and these are all of um, basically the updates that I've scheduled out. So as you can see, um, I think it'll, it'll excuse me, it allows you to schedule. Um, I think it's up to ten updates. I'm really not precisely sure, but with, with the free trial version, if you upgrade right here where it says "Go Awesome," if you upgrade to um, the paid version, I believe it's nine ninety nine a month. So it's really really cheap to use. I mean, it's a great investment to be really honest. I just don't use Buffer as much. I use Hootsuite. And um, the reason why is because I can do a lot more with Hootsuite, but we'll go into that later. This is ideal for, you know, someone who's just starting out, if you're just starting out with social media, if you're a solopreneur, if you're a small business owner, Buffer is all you need, to be really honest with you. Um, there's a lot that you can do as far as, you know, tracking and monitoring with Hootsuite, but you don't necessarily need all of it right now right away. So I use Buffer for my personal use and I only do articles. Honestly, it's because it's so much easier to do and I really, really like just kind of organizing um, my articles in one app and then I do everything else on Hootsuite. But this is just for my personal use. I don't do this for my clients. Anyway, so basically you can see the updates right here. They are in order and they're pre-scheduled. And what I mean by pre-scheduled is that I go in here, right, where it says schedule, and I pre-select the times that I want this post to be um, updated and pushed out to my Facebook page as well as my Twitter account. And for the free trial version, those are the only two accounts that it allows you to connect. If you want to connect more accounts, then you just have to upgrade, which is really not a big deal. You can um, integrate LinkedIn as well as you'd like, if you'd like. Um, now Hootsuite allows you to add Google Plus and do monitoring on Instagram and all that kind of stuff. So we'll talk about that in the next video. But as far as buffer goes, you just select you know a date and a time where you want your updates to go out and then you can add posting times if you want it to be posting you know two times a day, three times a day, four times a day. You kind of add there the time and the date, all that good stuff. So here you just pretty much select what days and you can create different kinds of schedules. Now as far as posting a new schedule, like let's just say you want to schedule on Monday at a certain time, but on Wednesdays you want to do it at a different time. Um, you can do that right over here and you do have to upgrade to have that feature. So for me, I just do it you know, once a day, usually at around 8 o'clock at night. And I'll switch it up from week to week just to, you know, not get very boring. Anyway, um, you can have your time zone here. You can just basically adjust that right here. Here are your analytics to see how well your posts are doing, the reach, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. You can see all that stuff here. All right. And your settings, obviously, if you need to shorten links. Here is your bit.ly and your Buffly and your JMP, which is kind of interesting, um, just to basically track the times that you know people actually click on your links. But that's a little more advanced, and I don't want to confuse you. This is for 
beginners, absolute be beginners, um, just want to do scheduling. So once you have that on there, you can click um, on Facebook and see. All right, so this is going to be pushed out to Facebook tomorrow at 8 p.m. And then if you just want to edit the post, you can just click on edit, and you're able to edit right there. It's really simple, really straightforward. You can delete it. You can share it now. Um, you know, if for some reason you scheduled it incorrectly or you would just want to share it immediately, you can click share now. You can shuffle your posts as well. And um, if there is a post that you want scheduled immediately, um, there's something pretty cool that says move to the top. If you click on that, that post will actually be updated immediately. So that's kind of a cool feature that they have on there. I'm just going to move this back on here where it was real quick. And that's Buffer for you. I mean, this is, you know, the most basic app I feel like. Um, if you do want to create a post, you can just click on what do you want to share. Upload a picture if you want to. Right here, select whatever you want. Add your text. Copy. And you can either select a share now or to buffer. And if you want to buffer it, um, it's taking a while to upload. Maybe that's just a really big picture. But we click on buffer and it would just basically save it. <clears throat> and um, you can, oh, so you can go right here and see, all right, so this is Twitter and this is Facebook, and these are the posts that are being scheduled. Does that kind of make sense? I hope it does. That is that. And I mean, honestly, this is Buffer for you. If you want to add the Buffer button, which I find, I find it to be extremely helpful, all you really have to do is, um, when, once you're starting your account, it'll prompt you, basically, to um, add a buffer button. And you can see that right over here. That's your buffer button. So let's say you want to go to Mashable is one of my favorite sites. And I see an article that I really like on there. Is Twitter testing a new look for threat conversations? Mm, that seems interesting. So basically all I would have to do is go up here, click on buffer, buffer this baby, and we are set. It will automatically add um, the tagline, and you can add whatever you want on there. And you can just click on buffer, or you can click share now. And this is so helpful. I absolutely love this this um, feature. And then let's say that you're on a Facebook page, right? And you see an update that you really like. And you're like, man, I wish I would share that. Buffer just makes your life a lot easier because... dun da da You click share, and then buffer, and you can just buffer that out. It'll push it to buffer whatever image is on there, whatever article is on there. It'll straight up push it to buffer. I absolutely love this tool. It's so handy, so helpful. Um, but if you want to kind of upgrade and do a little more than just scheduling, we will talk about Hootsuite in the next video. So don't forget to like this video if you liked it. If you found it helpful, subscribe to my channel. And come on over to KimberlyAnnHumanas.com where you'll find a lot more resources and awesome content to totally dominate your social media marketing efforts. Until next time, I am out.